Hey, hi, Dan Thompson here, and people have been asking me, uh, how do you create a drum loop using the MPK Mini uh, and Reaper? And so I've got a project here, and it has the metronome turned on, but it doesn't have any drum components. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our preferences and make sure in our MIDI devices that the MPK Mini is actually in there. Then I'm going to create a track. I'm going to arm the track for recording. I'm going to turn on monitoring. I'm going to right click over that record track and set my input to all MIDI, all channels. Shows up there. And then I'm going to also go in and set my MIDI overdub to overdub so that I can create the uh, the kick snare, the first pass, and then add other decorations like hi-hats or claps on following passes. So now you can see here that it is hearing some MIDI, but it's not generating any sound. And that's because MIDI itself doesn't generate sound. It sends a MIDI signal to a sample player. Uh, and so we need to install a sample player. In this case, it's going to be Satala, great all around little sample player. So here we go. You can hear the kick, snare. Now maybe I don't like the sound that I have coming out of it. I'm going to click back in my main window and press Control Alt X to bring up the Media Explorer. I've got a bunch of things downloaded from Music Radar. You just Google them and pull stuff up. There's a nice solid kick. I'm going to put that one in there instead of the default kick. And of course, you can do anything with other sounds that you like. Satala also has a bunch of ways to, uh, to shape that tone. So now I'm getting sound out. Well, let's go up to the uh, metronome setting. I like to have my metronome enabled. I like to have a two measure count in when I'm recording. I also like to have this snap enabled turned on. And here's why. I'm going to create a four bar loop and I'd like that to line up exactly on the fourth bar. Sometimes I'll put a marker there. Now, this is the biggest mistake people make in creating a drum loop. They either are not set exactly precisely to four bars or however many bars they're working in. They might be a little short on either end. I'm going to show you how to fix that. So now we're going to start recording my lead in. So there's my loop, uh, and there's a couple problems here. You can see at the very beginning, I, I missed the very start of it, and it's overlapped a little bit at the end. I want to tighten this up. I want to go back to my, my marker up here. I want to make sure that this is turned on. I want to trim my end to come back exactly to that marker. I want to go to the start, and this is really important because everybody misses this. I want to drag that back to the start. Now I have precisely four bars. Let's go in and take a look at the MIDI editor here. And can, you can see these are all of my hits. Now, as I zoom in, you see they're not exactly on the grid. And I might like that. I might want them off the grid, or I might not. If I want them precisely on the grid, I will click the Quantize button. And it gives me a bunch of options. I can use the grid. I can say all notes, maybe just selected notes. And it gives me a strength so I can move some things off the grid again. All of that. But I'm going to put it right on the grid. And um, I'll show you another trick here. So um, you can set them on the grid after the fact, or you can go into your record button again. And all the way at the bottom here, it says track recording settings, input quantize. I might want to set this to an eighth note or a sixteenth note, something like that. Uh, so it quantizes coming in. So let's do the hi hats. So now, here's the next trick. You want to take this and you want to glue it. So let's go ahead and Find glue items, 
just do that. And then I can take this and I can stretch it out as far as I want. And if I did it right, all of my notes are precisely on the beat. And again, the biggest problem is you either started late or you ended early and it didn't fit the four measure mark. So now, so that's creating drum loops using the MPK Mini and Reaper.